not that huge. Maybe he's natural. Why not? You know, and then I did some research on him. And I just the more I looked into it, the more I was like, Coach Greg, and I'm here to bring you the most requested by far video of the week. David Laid, is he natural or is he enhanced? Okay, I've had literally more than 200 requests for this video alone. By far, the most requested videos are natu natural or not videos. I have more requests for this guy than everyone else put together. And I can see why. This guy has 1.3 million followers on Instagram and nearly a million followers on YouTube. He's 21 years old, extremely good looking. And because of what he looked like when he started and the strength that this kid has, it makes it so unlikely that he's natural that you may as well just say there's more chance he got struck by lightning and lived and then got struck by lightning again and lived then is he natural okay so i'm going to present the evidence i'm not going to say is he natural or not you decide based on the information that i give and you tell me if you think he's natural or not of course you want to believe he's natural because you want to think you can do it too you can do it all natural and go from literally a twig to one of the best built guys around, okay? So let's get right into it. All right, so I started watching uh, old footage of him because at first I was like, he's not that huge, maybe he's natural, why not? You know, and then I did some research on him and I, just the more I looked into it, the more I was like, are you kidding me? Do, do people really think that this is natural? Okay, so I watched a video. It's basically a four-year transformation from 13 to 17. At 13 years old, he's literally one of the smallest guys I've ever seen in my life. In my life. Not height-wise, but muscle-wise. He's not fat, though. He is ripped, okay? So he's basically skin and bone. So his body type is like an ectomorph, okay? Those are people that have a very difficult time adding muscle they're kind of born with like the propensity to become like a marathon runner like the lanky skin and bones guy if they work out really hard for five years they might put on a tiny amount of muscle and look good but they'll always be like lean like it's it's you know they're gonna be lean but not really have much muscle this guy's shredded and has a lot of muscle he has both okay so when you want to find out if someone's natural or not, if they could do it, look back at old photos. For example, when I looked up Gymshark athlete Uzoma Ibailor, I butcher names. I don't know how to say his name. When I looked up at his old photos when he was the same age as David Laid, I mean, it was night and day shocking how much more muscle that Ozuma had. So that's why I said Ozuma is likely natural because he was so impressively built at an early age. He's got that mesomorph physique, the kind that adds muscle easily. Okay. So these kind of guys can grow muscle naturally and have better genetics. I was like this myself. I had really good genetics. I had muscle at a young age. If you look at all my old photos, I was quite built, quite jacked. Okay. So that's why as a natural, I was able to get muscle, but this guy blows my gains out of the water, completely demolishes them. Okay. So if you take a 13 year old kid and you get him to train, he's going to get some growth. Of course, they're young. Of course, they're going to put on muscle. This guy was ripped the whole time. And when you look at his changes, all of a sudden it's at the age 17, that things go insane. 13, 14, 15, 16, I would say he was natural during that time. He was just growing as a teenager, training hard. He works very hard. I'm not gonna take any of that away. The kid works like an animal. He puts everything into the gym. He is an amazing athlete, okay? That's besides the point. 
It's just to be natural and to do this. Is that possible? With the basic genetics that he has, I don't think he could do it. You can think differently, but let's see. At 17 years old, okay, he's 185 pounds. I don't know his exact height. I'm going to guess 6'1", 6'2". Tall and, and kind of skinny, but ripped, but with some decent muscle for a 17-year-old. He deadlifts 500 pounds, no problem. And then I witness another video at 17, 560-pound deadlift. Those are like world level type of numbers for a 17 year old kid natural okay so he's his strength is in fact more questionable than his physique he's more impressive to me with how much he can lift than his actual size his bench press at 17 315 pounds that's three plates aside at 17 i could bench press 293 pounds. I'm a world record holding power lifter. World record. The first power lifting meet I ever entered, I broke the national record as a 22 year old junior and novice lifter and the world bench press junior record. World record holder. He's stronger than me at the same age. So already it's pretty damn impressive. Mind you, he does way more, but I mean, he's just taller, whatever. His squat. 405 pounds at 17. I've coached powerlifting. I've coached 17 year olds to the IPF world's natural. This kid lifts more than the guys I coached. We're looking into videos and it says 14 to 17 natural transformation. Do you honestly think a 17 year old kid is going to say to their parents or make a video or what have you and be like, yeah, mom and dad, I take SARMs or I inject this or that. There's no way a kid is going to admit this. There might be one in a hundred of that honest. You think when kids go out and party, say, hey, mom, we're going to go and smoke some weed or we're going to take these drugs tonight. When we go out, it's going to be a great time, mom and dad. You just can't be honest about it. It's just too hard to be that open and honest. Okay, so that's another reason there's, he's not going to come out and say, oh yes, I did that with, as a youngster, it just, it doesn't pop, it's not possible. Do you think that just because he's 17 years old that he's not taking anything because he's in high school and he's like young, you think it's hard to get gynecomastia at age 17, he had it, but oh, great. I had it too. And I am natural. I read it all the time. Why do I get so many messages? Because four to five percent of teenagers naturally get this so there's only a 95 percent chance that it was that he's taking something well it only narrows it down to five percent let's say it's also more often that it happens early early on in puberty like 13 14 or so for example not more later in life and usually when you get gynecomastia when you're younger it tends to slowly kind of get better if you're natural as you get older his got worse way worse as he got older okay so if you looked at him now and if it's not photoshop pictures and stuff because half of those photos look like cartoon pictures with so much photoshop it doesn't even look like real humans anymore it looks like they've just been just completely changed into like creatures of like of i don't know it just doesn't make sense i don't like that much photoshopping it just looks silly to me another thing guess what guys he doesn't actually claim to be natural on his instagram wall for example it's not like it says david lead all natural david lead 100 percent natural and he's sponsored by gymshark do you think he's allowed to say david lead substance abuse user no they make them not admit to these things he has to he's probably making a million dollars a year he's not gonna like come out and admit to these things he doesn't have to another thing he's so strong at powerlifting yet he doesn't ever compete in powerlifting he's like world level powerlifting strength but doesn't compete in a powerlifting meet Usually, when you're extremely good at something, you play it and you compete in it. 
If you're six foot nine and can slam dunk, you don't walk by the basket and be like, nah, I know I can dunk, but I'm not even gonna bother trying. Eh, it doesn't, doesn't interest me. He's all into powerlifting. He talks about it all the time. He sells programs. You know, he's got discount code supplements and the whole thing. He made a video called DUP Explain Video. DUP is basically daily undulating periodization. And he went into detail describing it and he's selling the program and he's describing how when you're cut all the time and dieting it, you can keep your strength and do this and that because that's what I do. He can't say, oh, just take rad 140, take some Osterine. No, you can't say it. Imagine the sales of the thing when he's got an online program. He's selling a nine week program and ebook and he's got supplements for sale and, and its codes are there and everything. You can't say, oh, it, buy this, by the way, I'm taking this. I'm a, people are all going to be like, well, your results are from the supplements and not the, the ebook that you made. So it's like, it's a money-making thing. If he entered a powerlifting meet, would he enter a tested powerlifting meet? If he entered a tested powerlifting meet and lifted the numbers he lifts and passed the test, I would say, and make a video saying, he's natural guys, he's a freak of nature, he's a one in a million, he's this and that, but he doesn't. Now, if he entered a powerlifting meet that was not tested, guess what we would all say? Oh, yeah, but you entered and you weren't tested, so obviously you're on something because why would you enter a non-tested meet? So he doesn't enter powerlifting contests. Why? Because financially, it's like, and I'm not his financial advisor, I'm not his training partner, his coach, his doctor, endocrinologist, his mom and dad parents, and I don't take after him, look after him, not a social media advisor, I'm none of that stuff, okay? But I do know that if he did something, what the repercussions could be of that, okay? So by not entering a meet, it leaves the question off the table. It's like, it, it, it just ignores that and makes it easier on him. Okay, enters the meet, all the questions are going to be around that, not about how much he could lift. Then I watched the transformation, which was more impressive, from age 17 to 19. And this is like really just mind boggling here. At age 19, he's bench pressing 390 pounds. At 19, I was benching 340 something. I'm strong, really strong. Like if you don't look, look some of the stuff up. I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for the uh, most sumo weight deadlifted in a minute. I think the year is 2016 edition. I'm strong. The most I ever deadlifted natural. The most ever, 650 pounds. Pretty good, right? Not bad. And I'm short. I, the bar don't have to move much. I have a, a genetic advantage by being shorter in the sumo deadlift. He is a taller guy and he just 19 years old. I did it at 30 something and I wasn't even natural when I did the Guinness Book of Records. Okay, just to point that out. And I was 210 pounds and it was like 405 for 50 reps in like 51 seconds. He does a 675 pound deadlift at 19 years old and he's not short he's tall he's got to move the bar okay that is a big deadlift at 19 years of age so he's stronger than i was which i mean i'm look i'm not saying oh he's not natural because he's stronger than me no one's stronger than greg can be nat no there's a lot of guys that could be stronger than me natural they are but they guess what when they were 13 they weren't as big as my pinky ring, okay? They were big. They were not like scrawny, like Ozuma, guys like that with big muscle at young ages. These are the guys that you're gonna expect to be strong, okay? This guy is super strong. Like he's deadlifting as much as some of the top guys. So me and my brother, when we were competing natural, you know, years ago, we, all, we had a saying, we said this, it was our saying, we would say, if he is not on steroids, he would be. Well, what does that mean? Well, what it means is if the guy looked that amazing natural, he would be tempted to take something to bring it to the next level to see how good he could be. When you're natural and you're extremely gifted and talented and you have results, 
the temptation to take something to be even better is that much greater. You'd think, no, well, if you're so good natural, you would never take it. It doesn't work like that. When you're really gifted at something, like you're the best hockey player in the world, you're super good at basketball, you're, you're more tempted to practice even harder, to train even harder, to make it to the NHL, to make it to the NBA. You think a kid is gonna be seven foot two and really athletic and be like, nah, I don't feel like trying basketball. No, if you're like the fastest skater and you're like Connor McDavid and you're like skating around and you're really gifted, you're gonna be like, I only feel like practicing like once a week because I'm already the best player on the team. Why should I bother practicing? I'm already the best. No, you're gonna practice even harder because you're gonna wanna be like, move me up to the next league. I wanna play in the men's league as a 12 year old. I wanna dominate, I wanna be the best. So that's why it's even more tempting for a guy like David Lee to take something because he's seeing his modeling career, he's seeing his YouTube following, he's seeing his Instagram followers going up and up and up. His Gymshark sponsorship, up and up and up. His physique is improving. The temptation to take something to improve is gonna be that much greater. It really is. Unless you've been there, trust me, I was natural for likely longer than not anybody in the world, but 99.9% .9 of people would have taken steroids way earlier than I did. 99% of you don't believe I was ever natural. Well, not 99, I don't know what percent. A lot of you don't believe I was natural. I'll show some of the pictures when I was a kid and stuff. Oh, you did not. It was. And then when I took steroids, boom, magical gains right away. And I was already at my genetic limit. If you take something, and a performance enhancer, and you're not even halfway at your genetic limit, you're 17 years old. The gains are gonna be like, just crazy, insane. Now you look at his physique and you're like, he's not that big. Look at Regan Grimes, look at Chris Bumstead. When they were 21, they were way bigger. They have 50 times better genetics than this guy to, to be good. I fully believe both of those guys could have been natural at 21 and had more muscle than David Lee. So. If he was natural, think of this. This is just like mind blowing. You'll just be like, yeah, of course. If David Laid is natural at 21, then if he was uh, like legit natural and said, I'm going all in, I want to be the best now. And he started supplementing. He would be stronger than Larry Wheels by Larry Wheels age. You really think that this kid could be stronger than Larry Wheels? No, but if he was natural and lifting what he can now, natural, and he was to start and train and did the training he does with the enhancements that like, for example, takes whatever Larry Wheels takes, he would be out deadlift, he'd be deadlifting a thousand pounds. Larry Wheels is like the strongest person in the world. Like he's crazy, it's mind blowing. And he's like 300 pounds and about the same height as this, David Kit, if he was natural and he took something, he would become stronger than Larry Wheels. It's just not possible, no. The guy was a skinny twig with no muscle. He had doesn't have a body as a young age that would be likely to build muscle as he gets older. He then trains and slowly get, gets a bit of muscle. Then at age of 17, suddenly gets gynecomastia and then his lifts go through the roof in powerlifting, through the roof to the point that he's outlifting world level powerlifters, but yet he's not even competing. And he does so not with a muscular huge build at like a short height, but at a lanky kind of shredded look, like at 6% body fat and tall and thinner, it, he's lifting world champion level lifts. It's overwhelming the chances that it's not really true that he would be natural. Gynecomastia, ridiculously strong, incredibly shredded, building muscle all the time. I mean, it's just the problem is people want to believe that this is natural and possible because they would like to be able to do it themselves too. It gives hope for all these you know, these young kids that are, have no muscle and they're like, well, if I work out hard, I can gain 50 pounds of muscle too in a couple of years. 
The facts are most people with gifted genetics in their first year training are going to gain 12 pounds of muscle. Then after that, about eight. Then after that, about six and then four and then less. I, it would be tough to argue with anyone that would say, I have horrible genetics. I'm an IFBB pro. Pros usually have pretty good genetics. I mean, if it was easy to become an IFBB pro, anyone who could just train with poop genetics could do it. So I had really good genetics. And I never put on half as much muscle as he did. So this kid, natural, is going to put on double the muscle I did in half the time that I did as a natural? It doesn't make sense. If you tell me, and you and in the video was my unnatural transformation, my enhanced transformation, and you show me the picture of him before and after, and then I see how much he can lift, I'm still blown away impressed. So even with PDs of any kind, and I'm not going to sit here and speculate as to which ones he would use or not, but if you tell me that most people or anyone could go from the body he had to the body he has now with the strength that he currently has while taking PEDs, that's maybe one in a thousand people on steroids or gear, whatever you want to call it, SARMs, PEDs, anything. Maybe one in a thousand could do what he did with enhancements. And he's saying he did it natural. So you be the judge if that's possible. I'm telling you, uh, so many of you think, oh, but steroids help so much. And you think that it's like change. Most people who take steroids, SARMs and so on look like poop. Most people that take steroids will never deadlift as much as David did as a 17 year old kid. I'm just laying out the truth because trust me, I know thousands of people have taken steroids and I know that hardly any of them can lift that. You go to a powerlifting meet and see a guy deadlift 675, he's probably going to place in first or second place in a not tested contest. In a natural contest, those numbers are rare unless they're like 300 pound fatsos, okay? Ripped little skinny guys are not the kind of guys that lose you lift those numbers. So I'm going to end it here. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell button come on you want this whoosh now gregdusset.com is my website greg Doucette, IP pro on instagram watch another natty transformation video here the zuma you need to watch that one and watch this other natural transformation you guys love the natural transformations so i keep doing them and until next time i am out